This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and in today's tip we'll be looking at posting to Facebook directly from Lightroom. One of the biggest advantages of using Lightroom is the fully integrated workflow. You bring your images into Lightroom, do all the creative work within the Lightroom framework, and then export the images as you need them, when you need them, without the need to create many different copies of your images on disk. Lightroom version 3 introduced published services, and while there have been some changes over the past couple of versions, using this feature remains a great and easy way to share your work on social media like Facebook, Flickr, and Behance. Here I've worked on some images that I want to post on Facebook, and I'm going to step through the process of setting this up from scratch. Once it's set up, you can publish it any time with just a couple of clicks. There's no need to export files to disk, and the uploading is done automatically by Lightroom. Let's start by looking on the left-hand side of the library module here in the Publish Services panel. Here we see the ones that ship by default with Lightroom, Hard Drive Services, Behance, Facebook, and Flickr. And you can add others. For example, I've added the Zenfolio plugin, which I found on the Adobe Lightroom Exchange. To set up Facebook, we simply click the word Setup here to start the process, and this takes us to the Publishing Manager. We'll make sure that Facebook is selected, and let's give this service a name. I'll just call this one Railroad, since I'm going to use this as a test case. Now we have to authorize Lightroom to post to Facebook. Clicking here will launch our browser, and we'll see a request from Facebook to provide authorization for Lightroom. In this case, I'm already logged into Facebook in my browser, but if you've logged out of Facebook, you might need to log in with your credentials to complete this step. Once we click Connect, we can see that Lightroom is now connected with Facebook, and if we go back to Lightroom, sure enough, we can see that I'm now authorized as Michael Hoffman. We can change this account or remove the authorization here. Next, we need to decide where on Facebook we want to post. We used to have other choices here, but now we need to post to an album. So we can choose one of our existing albums, or we can even create a new album, which I'll do here. I'll call this one Railroad Museum, and I'll set this to be viewable by friends only, and then I'll click OK. We can see now that the setting is active here. Now we need to decide how these images are going to be titled in our Facebook post. I like to use the IPTC title field, which I populate in the library module into my EXIF metadata. You can choose the file name or you can leave it blank. In this case, we'll use the title and I'll show you how that works. Next, you can choose to rename the file, but this isn't critical when you're posting to Facebook, so I usually leave this deselected. We can also choose whether we want to export video files and I'll go ahead and leave that selected for this service in case I have a video file in the future. Here in the next section, we need to decide how the image is going to be exported. We can choose the quality and limit the file size if we want, and we can choose the size in pixels. In this case, I'm going to set this up to resize my images so that the long edge of the image is 1200 pixels and I'll click Don't Enlarge in case I have some smaller images. This should be fine for viewing on Facebook, but we'll also want to sharpen our images for the screen, and we can choose that here. Standard is usually a good choice for this setting. Next, we can choose whether to include our metadata, and we can choose to include all metadata, all except the camera and camera raw information, or just copyright and contact information, or even just copyright information. I'll leave this set to copyright only, but notice that if we choose all metadata, we have an option here to remove location information, which can be good if we're posting images to Facebook and we want the location to be private. I'll change this back to copyright only. Finally, we can choose whether to include a watermark on our image. Setting up a watermark is a subject for another tutorial, but if you have one set up, you can select this box and choose the watermark here from the list. I'm going to leave this blank, but if you enable watermarking, it will be added to your image automatically as you post to Facebook. Now our work is done here, so we can click Save, and the hard work is now done. Publishing to Facebook at this point is a lot like creating a collection. 
We just identify the image or images that we want to publish and we drag them to this collection. Here I've dragged this one image in and we can see that the image count is now 1. If I choose another one and drag it in, we can see there are now two images here. Notice that these images have a title in the title field here. And I've added these myself, but these will be used when we post to Facebook. Now let's view this published collection. I'll click on this and it looks like a regular collection, except that it has a few additional features for controlling the publish process. Here we see these two images are listed as new photos to publish. We can click the Publish button here at the top to kick off the process of rendering the images and uploading them to Facebook. This could take a few seconds or it could take several minutes depending on your system's speed and your bandwidth speed, but we can see the status up here in the left. Notice as the photos are uploaded, they're marked as published photos and you can see them moving around and now the two of them are listed as published photos. Let's go over to Facebook and take a look. I'll refresh this page and sure enough, here are my two images freshly posted to Facebook. And we can see that the post includes the title right here. And this is the title that we saw back here in Lightroom. Now let's look at adding another image and maybe changing an existing one. I'm going to go to the folder in the library and I'm going to keep my Publish Services panel open. I'll narrow these down once again to my picks, and I'll add this one and drag it in. I'll also choose this image, maybe just make a quick develop change. I'll increase the exposure just to make a change to this image so we can see what happens. Now let's go back and visit this published collection once again. Here we see our existing published photos, but we see that we have a modified photo to republish and a new photo to publish as well. If we click Publish Now, both of these two will be published. But all I did to this one was really make a develop change to illustrate what's going on, so I'd rather not republish this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Mark as Up to Date. When I do that, it's moved down here back into the published photos and it won't be republished. Now with my new image ready to publish, I can click on Publish and away we go. Once again, the file is rendered and it's uploaded to Facebook and it will be posted on the Facebook page. If I switch over to Facebook and refresh once again, sure enough, we can see that I've posted all three images now. Back here in Lightroom, from now on, all I need to do to post an image on Facebook into this Railroad Museum catalog is to simply grab my image and drag it here into this published service. I'll automatically get a consistent size and quality, the right sharpening, the metadata that I've chosen, and a watermark if I've configured it. And the bottom line is that there are no external files to export, no folders to create and manage, no images to manually upload. Lightroom takes care of everything. Give it a try. Once you're set up, Lightroom makes publishing to social media a breeze. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, photography, and Lightroom tips and tricks there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus by going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.